I have started off this day by putting down the gravestones of our previously fallen companions, Fiona and <laughs> Sabretooth. Yeah, because he didn't have a name, poor thing. And I have done some changes. Don't know if you can see it. I dyed my hair green. This is the dark forest green color and I think I will try with the lighter green as well because uh, this, this can be a little bit hard to see in the light. Okay, so today I have lots to show you. I have been spending a whole amount of time grinding and working on my base. And there is a Theresino right there. That is a level 168 alpha boosted, because there is a alpha raptor. There should be two alpha raptors here. I did see one earlier. Are both of them up here? No. If the uh, Therizino right here survives, I do want to tame it up, but I want to wait until I have some crops at least. The other Alpha Raptor should be here. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Man, there are so many Alphas. Lots and lots of bad things. Okay, so let me show you the base. So I did put up the wall around with a behemoth gate, as you can see. I have four blocks high on the wall, and I did make a few more traps. This is a uh, RG trap, where we can tame a few more RGs, and I do want to do that during this episode. Hunt around for some high-level RGs and start to muta mutate them as well. And this is my larger creature trap with some ramps going up inside, so it's easy to just, yeah, uh, lure them inside and trank them down. And this is how the house is looking right now. I think it looks okay right now. It's not all the way finished, but uh, more or less. I'm gonna show you around right here. I did tame up this one. Poopy! <laughs> His job is to poop. Because I did build this large greenhouse right here. I do have some crops growing right now, so we can have some help taming up these higher level um, uh, herbivores. And of course, loads of compost bins. And uh, water is a problem right here, because there is no natural water source. So I do have this water tank. Uh, it only fills up when it rains, and for some reason the past two days it has hardly rained at all. So I put these pipes in right here. I had had some uh, help from the dynamic pipes, which I can kind of angle like I want. And you see this one has only 75 of 600 water. This one is a little bit better and the same goes for the rest. And uh, these are now growthlings. So uh, we are not producing anything yet. Of course, I do have a lot of narco berries because I am so tired of gathering up narco berries. I did build my wall into the house like this because I wanted the window to have like uh, a perfect view of the spot around here. And uh, there are an occasional T-Rex wandering up right here and uh, there are sometimes quite the show outside <laughs> and they do not mind me inside there. So uh, uh, for now our house is more or less safe. So let me show you the inside. It's starting to get dark right now. That's bad, but uh, we will try to... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Can you land? There we go. All right. So I have a few creatures here. I did tame a few low-level Therisinos. Used my uh, large trap outside to just lure them in and trank them down. Uh, and uh, that's one of the reasons why I started to build a greenhouse as fast as I did, because they do take a lot of narco berries to stay down, even the low-level ones. So I don't want to imagine how much the high-level one is going to take. That is also why I want the crops to um, help us get a better taming effectiveness. Okay, so uh, yeah, this is the place for the uh, industrial forge, and I have made that. I am now level uh, 86, and I have started a little bit of breeding, so our levels are going to increase much more now than they did before. And I put everything in here. I have made a... Uh, is it not here? Hmm. 
did I put it in here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I made the industrial forge and I have made a chemistry bench. I'm gonna, going to put both of them down right now. The um, chemistry bench, I am a little bit unsure about where I'm going to put. If I have the room, I will put it here because I want a uh, another water tank outside here to uh, connect into a uh, industrial cooker. Now let's see how this is going to look. Danathor, you need to uh, you need to move. <laughs> oh boy, this is huge. Oh boy. Oh man, I don't want it to cut through the walls on the back side right there. Let's see. Can can we get a better view? Okay. And it's just tall enough in here. Oh man. Oh, that's perfect. Very nice. Okay, so there is um, not much room left. Do we have the space for the chemistry bench? Actually, we do. Doesn't even cut into the forge. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, and this can just uh, stay turned on forever because we do have the power and we do have the gasoline. Excellent. So I'm gonna remove these, um, not just now because they are uh, producing charcoal, which they don't have to anymore. <laughs> we can actually put everything into the industrial forge, which will produce charcoal a little bit faster. Or <laughs> a lot faster. Oh, that's nice. And then we can remove these and I will put the um, the industrial cooker down right here when we get it. Okay, so what have I been doing? First of all, gathering some eggs and putting them in here. I only have two Therosinos right now, but they do produce uh, between two and four eggs per day, as far as I can tell. So I have been actively searching for the sabers and finding high level sabers has been such a grind and um, that's why I chose to do the rest of that off camera because uh, it's just been me flying around and uh, yeah, it's been bad. <laughs> so what I did, I found three sabers first. I found a 174 and that should be, yeah, that's this one. I found a 174 female, which had the uh, 40 uh, points into melee. Then I found a 168, which should be this one, and he had um, nothing, so <laughs> I haven't used that one. Then I found this, a level um, 1, what was it, 162 uh, male Sabertooth, and he had 41 points into health and stamina, and 42 points into weight, which can be nice. And then I started to breed them up and uh, get the perfect male right here to get all the stats um, uh, collected into one saber tooth, And then <laughs> I was just wandering about, going out and uh, getting some uh, cementing paste. And then I found this, a level 180 saber tooth male. Now, the rest of the stats aren't that good, but he did have 44 points into melee and 43 points into weight. So it's it's still a little just a little bit above average I would say but um, I did manage to get those stats into this female right here and then I had to use my perfect male again to try and make a new saber which had all the correct stats and that's what I have done right here. So now we have 41 points into health and stamina, 43 points into weight and 44 points into melee. And that is our perfect male. And then we need perfect females. But uh, first of all, I think I will pick this one up. And let's just pick this one up as well. Go. And we need to uh, get this one growing. Bam. There we go. So now we just have to wait until this guy grows up. And then we can start to... Uh, uh, grind for the um, perfect female and grind as a word was that that was a wrong choice of words Anyway, any more eggs? 
Yeah, buddy. Nice. Thank you. And as you can see, I do have a small amount of Therasino eggs right now. I do want to tame more Therasinos to get more eggs, and we should try to get um, some uh, other creatures as well, so we can make all the tiers of kibble. Anyway, I'm gonna bring you back as soon as uh, this saber is matured. No, I'm not, because we are going to go out and fight those alpha raptors. We don't want them around. There you are. And there's the other, the other one. Okay, one at a time is enough. We have some Dylos joining the fight right here. Come on. Alright, Alpha Raptor is dead. Nice. Dylos are dead. Hello, Therisino. Hmm. I don't want the Therisino to join in on the fight with uh, the Alpha Raptor right here. Here we go. Let's fight all the things. <laughs> oh man. Oh boy. Oh, we are good. We are good. Oh man, there are too many things. Okay. Dilo is dead. Carno is dead. Nice. And it's raining. Nice. Oh, didn't want to fall down here. All right, let's go. Yes. Haha. <laughs> hey, fight's over, sir. Okay, another one? A third Alpha Raptor. What the hell? Oh no, tickle chicken. No, 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 no. I don't want you. I'm just gonna get this Alpha Raptor into my cage right here. Come on, sir. <laughs> oh boy. There we go. Okay. Now. I can fight you myself. You know what? <laughs> this is not working. I can't hit him. I cannot hit that Alpha Raptor because he is running around. He is not interested in me at all. Are you interested now? Not even the RG can hit him. You know what? This is annoying me. <laughs> Very much. There we go. Good spot. Nice. And we glitched him out of the trap. <laughs> Wait. Where? There. Man, it's dark. But luckily for us, it's raining, so that means that our crops are getting irrigated. Let's check it out. Not this one, though. Okay, so I do have some issues right here. It's not perfect. And especially this one. This one is not getting enough water. Man. Okay. We need to work on that. Anyway, I will bring you back when the saber is uh, grown up. Okay, so while we wait on the uh, saber tooth to tame up, I have decided to try and tame that 168 Therisinosaur because I found out that I may be able <laughs> to make some exceptional kibble. If not, we can always use crops to tame it up because they are growing quite fast right now. So I am going to go back, try to make some kibble, and uh, then we will see about taming that Therisino. Now, I was thinking about waging a war against the Therisino after last time when they killed us over and over again, but uh, we are going to need them eventually anyway, and uh, their eggs 
are what we need to make the exceptional kibble. And speaking of, if we see right here, we have an egg. That's very nice. Okay, let's see. Let's put this in here and the crops we can put in here so they last a little bit longer. Man, I can't wait to get the industrial cooker. This is taking so much time. Alright, after waiting for some more crops to grow up, I did manage to get enough to make one more focal chili, which... Oh yeah, <laughs> out of wood. Uh, which means that we can make, uh, I think, four exceptional kibble. Now it's not enough, but it will get us uh, a long way towards our goal. Now while we are waiting for the kibble to finish up, I do want to test out something. Let's see, equip, and snip. <laughs> so I want to try the um, uh, the new die. Okay. And facial hair. And now all we need is some light, so we can see how this looks. Oh yeah, okay, that's a lot better. We are green. Nice. I'm gonna keep it this way. Very good. And our saber is maturing about 50% right now. Very nice. And let's see about the uh, kibble. What's happening? What, what, what? No, poopy! Of course. Of course, that was a 168 that wandered into our compound. God damn it. Could have tamed that one. Man. Okay. There will be more. No use in crying over spilt milk. There we go. Four exceptional kibble. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. Put out fire, please. There we go. Four exceptional kibble, and we do have another egg right here. Let's hope that the uh, kibble that we do have will get us uh, part of the way at least. I will bring some carrots, because it's not specified which crop they prefer, so I can bring whatever I want, I think. Well, let's see if we can find the, uh, what was it, 168? Should be around here. Is this you? 168 female and 130 male. Hmm. They are mate boosted. Can I just get you to aggro on me? Hello. Aggro. There we go. And the other one. It's just standing around, <laughs> not paying attention at all. That's good. Come on, come in. Nice. Very good. And we need you on passive. And I need to drink. There we go. I'm gonna start with the uh, crossbow, I think. They do not take much to knock down, and of course. Now the low level ones, they only took a few arrows and they were down. So, uh, man, I am a little bit afraid of um, hurting this one too much. Or not hurting him, I think he will be fine, but uh, shoot him when he is unconscious. I do not want that to happen. Please go down. <laughs> oh man. Ow, what the hell? How did you come in here? Okay, that's weird. Did you spawn in here? Yeah, I'm gonna use the darts from now on. <laughs> I am a little bit afraid about his health. Doesn't look very bloody though. 
Can we get a headshot? No. What? Where did he go? Oh, he's running. He is running. There we go. No. <laughs> I thought he went down. There we go. Nice. And no more darts. <laughs> Man, that was close. Oh boy. Now he is going to start to drop in Torpor really fast. There we go. I'm gonna go and get some narcotics. You just stay, Garfield. There we go. <laughs> Man. Oh boy. Hello. Oops. Come on. There we go. Alright, let's just put this in. Are you ready to eat? There we go. That's one of four kibbles. That's uh, actually gonna be enough. Man. That's great. We don't need vegetables after all, and we are going to get a uh, high taming effectiveness. Excellent. So this will probably be a Theresino that we will eventually start to breed, uh, depending on if the stats are good enough, I think. Very nice. And we are going to need some narco berries, but not as much as I feared. So let's just pump in about a hundred right now. There we go, we are industrial, baby! Very nice. All we need now is the cooker, and then we can get rid of uh, <laughs> this thing. Excellent, it's looking good, and I think... This will be my breeding area for now, and you are at almost 80%. Perfect. Man, this color is looking really good. Very nice, and I do like this hairdo. Alright, she should be just about ready to feed again. See? Come on. Eat that kibble. I know you want to. 100% taming effectiveness. That's awesome. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's too bright. Alright, let's... Uh Check out the stats. Meh. <laughs> that's, uh, that's just average. Barely. 46 into movement speed. Damn. Okay. But we do have a high level Theresino, so that's nice. Now let's go inside and check on the Sabertooth. I think it should be just about ready to uh, grow up. Alright, 90%. And there we have all our Theresinos. And you two. Just uh, continue lay me some eggs, please. What's happening? Oh, the torches. <laughs> I do have these uh, wall torches. They fire up when uh, the night is starting. That's uh, that's very nice. I also have a few outside, which looks really good, especially during nighttime. Hey, hey, there we go. Our little baby is all grown up. Bam. All right, who do I need to breed you with? Because you are now the perfect male, and now we need to find the perfect female. 44, 43. You need the 41s on health and stamina. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe we should breed you two. There we go. And let's start mating. Nice. Now I do have my settings turned up really high, but even though they are <laughs> quite high, breeding saber teeth 
takes a long time. You see the mating is going fast, then we have the gestation, which takes about five minutes each time, and then we need to grow them up. And that takes about, I don't know, what, 25 minutes probably to grow up one saber tooth. And all we need now is one perfect female to start mating with the perfect male right here. And then we can pump out a whole lot of more females and um, start the mutation process. Let's see, you... no, that's wrong. We need to change your name to perfect male... Since we already had... Mm, where are you? There he is. Our first perfect male. And yeah, I named my Yankee. His name is Registeel. <laughs> uh, isn't that the name of the, um, the uh, Steel Pokémon? Registeel? I think so. I'm not sure of the pronunciation, but uh, it's probably close enough. You guys are still mating. Nice. Now that's an unfortunate view. <laughs> oh man, okay, there we go. And this is all the way I can zoom out. I thought I should show you how this base looks at night from our little porch right here. If you have any suggestions about other, other things I can do inside our compound right here, please put it in the comment down below. And leave a like also if you find yourself enjoying this series so far. That helps me out greatly. Oh boy, there we go again. Oh man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh boy. It's a nice view though. Look at that moon. There we go. Let's uh, let's see if we got lucky the first time around. Nope. Twins. Oh, nice. Twin males with uh, all the stats. That's good. Should have been females. Just right. And uh, now that we are starting to breed and destroying souls like this, we are going to um, gain levels fairly quickly in the uh, time to come. Yeah, good boy. Good boy. It was about time that I learned the Fleck Armor Engrams, because it's uh, about time that uh, we get some better armor on us. And I am going to tinker around a little bit with dice before I put them on, and I'll uh, show you what I came up with. Alright, I didn't have enough paint to do all the small details. I think it's the gloves that are missing a little bit, but that doesn't show that much. I used the dark green and the lighter green on most of my armor right here, and then I used a purple dye uh, on, uh, like, the things in between, as you can see here, and uh, a little bit on the pants right there. And I think that the purple and the green actually go pretty nice together. So yeah, <laughs> there we go. We look good. We are starting to get ready for uh, whatever else this island has to throw at us. And we are in uh, the morning right here, so I am going to go out and see if we can find any RGs. Any RGs at all. Come on, Garfield. You ready? But before we go, do we have uh, any new um, children? Female? Oh, that's bad. Sorry. You guys, just uh, keep at it. I am going to go outside and look for some more RGs. And maybe we should go... Uh, down to the beach and fill up our water jars. I did actually roam around in the redwoods uh, quite a bit when I was looking for the saber teeth, and I did see a couple of thylas. Most of them were crap level, so uh, I have uh, taken the lives of many uh, in the hopes of uh, finding a higher level when we are ready to start taming them up. But I am not gonna tame up any thylas until uh, we have the kibble, because uh, their effectiveness is uh, draining so fast if you don't have the correct uh, correct things to feed them. I'm actually going to stay gamma up a little bit. Let's just see if we can see any thylas while we are here. 
And this is actually also one of the only places to find bee honey, giant bee honey, which we also need to make the um, uh, extraordinary kibble. And uh, I am a little bit unsure about how to harvest it, because it's up in the trees, we can't reach it with a dire bear. So um, I've been trying to search a little bit around on Google, to find out what is the best course of action to get, get some uh, giant bee honey. And I couldn't find <laughs> any good suggestions, so if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comment down below and help me out a little bit because we do need that bee honey no thylos yet, we do have an RG right here level 12 nope I actually do want to uh, find an RG a little bit closer to home so we can use our own RG trap instead of starting to craft a new one only level 12s 114, okay, that's uh, better. Now there, we have a beehive. And as you can see, it is... Um, it's up there. <laughs> we can't reach it. Man. I do not know how to get that. And uh, that goes for all the bee honey in the redwoods. Everything is way up in the trees. Okay, we are getting sidetracked with bee honey and thylas. Let's go and find some RGs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Another Alpha Raptor? Jesus Christ. What level be you? Level 18. Alpha boosted, of course. Let's just uh, get rid of this uh, creature. Oh, here comes all the things. <laughs> Oh, man. Come on, go down. You have the high ground. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. This is unfortunate. There we go. Ooh. Level 78. All right. Um, did we get any stuff? See, we have killed quite a few raptors now. Okay. Mm, nothing great. Nothing great at all. <laughs> okay, stamina's back up. Let's uh, continue our hunt for Argentavai. Alright, 114. Man, we should have tamed that uh, 168 or 162 that came into our base. Had I known. But I was uh, more concerned about Poopy. <laughs> That doesn't sound good. Doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, there was one more down here, I think. Oh, hello. Hello's on top of the mountain. Are you coming for me already? Level 90. Okay. Let's take them out. This one just abandoned his friend. <laughs> okay, where are you going, sir? Where are you going? Oh, man. Level 144, Alpha Carno. No, thank you. Not my problem. <laughs> uh, and the Argentavis was crap level as well, so I'm not gonna bother. That's a level 150. Mm. It's close, <laughs> but it's not good enough. Why is it so hard to find high-level creatures when I am recording? Jesus Christ. Oh, that's a level 150 allo. Oh, boy. Oh, man. That's tempting. How about this RG right here? Level 30. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, can we take out your companions? I'm stuck! I'm stuck inside! Oh no! Okay, there's one. 
Just nibble this sweet ass. <laughs> oh yeah, come on. Follow me home. And I will try to tame you if you are not too hurt. Please don't attack everything. Do not attack the trike. Of course you are. Come on now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nice. Okay, he's probably too hurt now to uh, tame up, but uh, we will uh, try. All I have is arrows. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he's down! <laughs> man! Just poof! I haven't shot him for a while because he was running around like crazy, or she, I should say. Level 150, okay. Not the best level, but uh, I couldn't say no to a level 150 Allosaur. That's nice. Let's see, you have a level yourself. I'm gonna put that into um, melee. And you should have quite a bit of prime meat. Nice, there we go. All right, about five pieces, so <laughs> 20 should be more than enough. Nice. Okay, let's go and check on our sabers before we go out and hunt for more Argentavi. One female. And she has minus three on food. Other than that, she has the stats. There we go. <laughs> nice. But okay, there we go. Everything good? <laughs> okay, let's check the stats of this one. Come on, come on. There we go, nice. Alright. Mm, nothing great. Nothing great at all. So, <laughs> we can just uh, use this aloe as we please. I am not going to breed up this one. Holy crap! <laughs> That's a Alpha Carno. Too close for comfort. Come on, sir. Let's do this. Oh, he hits for 84. Okay, I got the high ground. This is working out nicely. What? Argentavis? Come on! You're not supposed to be here. If you are high level, I'm gonna cry. Jesus Christ, is this even bloody? What level is this? Okay, it's a little bit bloody now. Come on, come on, we can do it. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man, okay, he's going down. He's going down. Come on. We are almost there. Come on, Garfield. Don't let up now. Almost out of stamina. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Level 144. Man. Are we good? I think we're good. Come on. Something good. Something good. Let's see, what did I get? Mastercraft Plesiosaurus Saddle. Okay. And... Journeyman Ghillie Boots. Alright. Okay then, I think it's time to check on our sabers. Man, I've been hunting Argentavi for over an hour right now, and I just want to see how many talents I have. 118. That means that I have killed over 60 low-level Argentavi. That's insane, and you are following. Uh, you don't have to do that. Just uh, stay. Okay, how are we doing? Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, minus one point into health. Come on. Just one point. Man, I don't want to abandon the uh, Argentavis hunt. Really would like to get a high level one today. 
But man, it's hard. Do you know how many level 6 I have killed? It's probably around 10 or 12 of them. Level 6. And it is just as high a chance to find a level 6 as a 180. In theory. <laughs> oh man. Jesus Christ. The highest level I have found is 138. And uh, I was almost like, okay, fine, I'll take it. But uh, 138, it's not good enough. It's not good enough. Not if we want to breed Argentavis and uh, get the best stats possible. Now, we can't use the Argentavis in uh, caves or anything, and I am not going to bring them to the boss fights. But uh, I just want to do it for fun. Find uh, find some good color schemes on the Argentavis, get some good stats. Yeah. That's why. And I do love the Argentavis. It's a nice bird, it's tanky, you can fight almost anything. And I've probably said that before. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Okay, let's take another round. Take a look around. And uh, see if we can find anything worth taming. Okay guys, after several hours I have gone through about a hundred RGs. And you know what? I am so sick and tired of looking through RGs. I am abandoning my search for today. God damn it. I have never... The highest level I found was level 138. And uh, man, that's bad. Oh, only females. Yes! Perfect female. Ah, oh, finally. There we go. We can uh, destroy you. And um, let's see. I will let you finish just in case we get another perfect female. Ah, oh, yes. Finally. Something went right today. And we need to uh, raise this one up. Perfect female, let's see. Uh, we need to change your name to... PF! Excellent. 293, 293. And let's see what you will bring us. One more, hopefully. Alright. And that's a male. Perfect, but not what I need. Already have one. <laughs> okay, so now we can just pick you up. I don't think you will uh, produce anything more. You have only produced one so far. And uh, we will get a whole lot more females after this grows up. And can start to mate with this one. So guys, I think I will end this episode right here. We had no luck in the Argent Davis department. Man. That was so stressful, I was so tired of looking at RGs, you know, 100 of them, and no one had a decent level that I would like to tame at least. So yeah, that's it. But we did manage to get the perfect Sabertooth couple, and I will continue working on that and bring you back to see how far I have come with the Sabers in the next episode so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the series so far and if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel and as always i will see you all in the next one bye bye